Most popular gain clone designs are based on LM audio power amplifier chips. And one of those, maybe one of the well known, is the LM1875, which is a great versatile chip. It actually is capable of producing 30 watts of output power into 8 ohms. So I was searching for a nice PCB and I found the following one. It also includes, for example, DC protection. But what I really wanted was also Bluetooth. And for that I found a really nice kit offered on well-known auction sites. This kit is the MH18. It's basically plug and play. The only problem what you will find out with these kits is that they induce hum. So what you have to do is to physically separate the low voltage line from your amplifier. And that you can do with a DC-DC converter. This is one example. 5 volts in and 5 volts out. Their design is basically based on uh, galvanic separation. So there is really a physical barrier between the low voltage line from the amplifier and the low voltage line of your um, Bluetooth um, kit. And there which you can prevent hum. Hum is mostly a result of different low voltage lines. So here you can see I integrated it. I also added uh, a low voltage power regulator. And that made sure that you have a decent low voltage power line. And this way you almost don't get any hum. Actually, it's, it's, it's not noticeable. So what I did, I added everything on top of the original PCB. And I did that with rubber standoffs. That way you can get a nice um, compact design, which still is really rugged. And that was also one of the objectives in this design. It had to be small. It had to be also looking a little bit classy, of course, because you want that to have a nice amplifier. But it also had to be um, stable, so there had to be enough cooling. And the cool thing about this cabinet is that it's completely made of aluminum. And that aluminum is really a good uh, conductor for heat. Of course, those little chips also don't produce that much if you don't use your voltage line that high. Now, what you can see here is that I performed one of the tests um, into a dummy node. And there I basically check what is the output power, but also I check the square wave response. And there it, I can, for example, see if there was oscillation. And because those lines are perfectly straight, almost perfectly straight, you can really see that there is no oscillation. So this is the newest build that has been made uh, this year. And to be honest, I'm really satisfied with the performance and I hope you will like this video.